watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ. Yiki Pantala Kote Sibra Kaskia. Antala dos ke labados ahasha. Father, we want to give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. From the depth of our spirit, we come with the token of the sacrifice that is an everlasting covenant in the blood of your son, Jesus, as we approach the gate of today's program in the Holy Ghost. We declare that, oh God, the heavens be open. Uh, this day, as many that will be coming across, that is watching live, that will be listening to this broadcast, my Father, may our voice become an ordained oracle, Lord, unto you as a worship. Thank you, Father. Take us deep in the depth of your prophetic stream. Help us, Lord, to be exactly what you want us to be in your name and in your power. I come against every unclean spirit by this precious blood of the Lamb. I thank you because only your will and your purpose will be done as we continue on these 60 days of our prayer quick summit. We shall not give up. We shall be strengthened. We shall continue. And the joy of the Lord will be our strength. We command every unclean spirit. We command every, every wicked, foul spirit. We command every environmental demon and influences from hell. By the power of the blood of Jesus, let them be silenced. We bind the authority and send them back to hell. Never to come back to the glory of your much less mighty name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with precious thanksgiving. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Take over and take your glory. Child of God, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate every one of you that has been steadfast. I want to appreciate as many of us that have been steadfast in this 60 days prayer quick summit. It has not been easy, but I thank God for your courage. I thank God for your dexterity. I thank God for your temerity, your capacity to hold on because it is already known that it is only those that endures to the end that will wear the crown of life. So today being day 22, Two, the 22nd day of this, our prayer quake, 60 days of prayer quake summit, engaging the supernatural for total emancipation to arise and shine. Hallelujah. Today, we are going to, like I promised in the last, yesterday, and day 21, I promised yesterday, we are going to continue this topic because of the nature, the nature of its complication. The nature of his situation, it is so deep. And today, I will try to bring a conclusion today. And if not, we're going to do the last round tomorrow. Now, turn with me quickly, by the grace of God, to the book of Ezekiel. 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 Um, the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 13, verse 18. We're going to be reading just four verses or three verses. I go fastly because of time. I want you to flow with me. Turn with me to Ezekiel 13 verse 18. All right, you can write it down as I read. And say, we are looking at the King James Version and we are going to look at the New Living Translation much more later. And say, thus says the Lord God, woe to the women that sow pillow. Watch this. They sow pillows. Different type of pillows. What that pillow represents is, I mean, using a garment or handkerchief of different length, you know, after doing a lot of enchantment divination, they now put it, they now tie it together. Now, let's continue. I will, I will get back to that later. Now, when they saw this pillow, they hang it on their arm, their arm holes, and make, and they also go for that to make handkerchief, different sizes upon the head of every statue. Why? The Bible now says, they use this filthy garment. They use it to do what? To hunt the souls. Now, this is not just the souls of unbelievers. That is where I am concerned. This is not just the souls of sinners. This is not just the souls of guilty people. They are resting spiritually. But look at what the next verse says. The next phrase. He said, Will ye hunt the souls of my people? Child of God. 
look, look, I want you to understand the powers of demonic filthy garment in the hand of the wicked. One of the things why God is angry against any man, woman, boy, girl, institution, using filthy garment with your name attached to it to attack you in any way or shape or form is that it has the capacity not by the command but by the bible the bible is saying with the filthy garment that is being used against you any filthy garment that is being used against you by the wicked can haunt the soul of that person now that is one of the reasons we are going to be extending this we need to deal with this some of our fathers some of our wicked fathers, wicked mothers, wicked uncles, wicked colleagues in the office. We, I mean, people are very, very wicked. In their diabolic activities, they use different filthy garments in form of handkerchief, in form of veil, to cause pain in the life of people. To cause pain. Pain, but child of God, I pray for somebody hearing me. Anyone that have written a command, an evil command, in a handkerchief, in a veil, in a filthy garment, and has folded it to become an outlet to put you under bondage in the name that is above every other name, whether they hang it on their waist. Or they hang it on their hand, or they hang it on their neck to put you under perpetual bondage, to put your business under perpetual bondage, to put your marriage under perpetual bondage by the anointed fire that is in the blood of Jesus. We break the yoke over your life, every evil handkerchief working against you in form of the the whistler, the whistler, anywhere, Yebahande, wherever you are, the first prayer point for the 22 is that any filthy garment in form of handkerchief, in form of veil that have been used with this written on them, with this written on them concerning my marriage, concerning my destiny, concerning my immigrational process, concerning my finances, and these things are attacking the very foundations, my ancestral and generational foundation, so that anytime I want to do a thing, the soul of my business, the soul of my miracle, will not be there to activate the miracle. The Bible says, watch this scripture. It's not just the Bible didn't say it's unbelievers. No, God Himself said, These are my people. So you begin to ask a question How can the people of God be there with the power that God has given, with the anointed that breaks the yoke, with the capacity of the saving creation of the Lord Jesus, with the auction? And in spite of this, some of the people of God are placed under diabolic manipulative covenant. They are placed under the bondage via filthy garment in form of evil handkerchief where evil commands have been written in form of evil veil upon your property, your, your, your cloth, your stock, things that have been taken from your body. And they write, it shall not be well with this, that, that, and they tie it, tie it, tie it, 365 times. Most times, if you see this armhole, if you see all this armlet, they tie, if you lose it under deliverance, they tie it for 365 or 66 times. Why each one, each time represent a day in the year? And they use that, and they tie the handkerchief, and they tie the veil, and God said something here that I want you to listen to. When they do that, when these people do that, when the witches, these women, when they do that, 
God said it will affect the soul of my people and they will they now will save their own soul they take the property of the people of God via diversion using this same filthy garment diabolic manipulation and they also take from the people out to their own and the people of God become poor become wretched become frustrated but today I give you the second prayer for day 22 and the prayer is this you will repeat it for 21 times my father my fighter any witch or wizard any evil human or man taking my name writing my name on any evil handkerchief or evil veil in form of a filthy garment to haunt my soul to haunt the soul of my husband or to snatch the soul of my husband or to take off my husband from me or to take my business from me or to make my children to be rebellious or to take away the soul of my miracle my father in the name of Jesus I declare that the woe of God come upon your head let woe let the cause of God come upon your head from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet may they begin to decay anyone that is carrying an enchantment with filthy garment of handkerchief tied for 365 or 66 days to bond and to put you under captivity let the war the curse of God in form of maggot let them begin to decay you didn't hear me let the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to cause them to decay child of God I did not just pray I just quoted the word of God in Ezekiel 13 verse 18 that is what God says Whoa to the women that means whoa to the witch witches and wizard people that carry your name the name of your children the name of your business the name of your husband the name of your wife write it in contaminated diabolic handkerchief and tie it to the smallest proportion 365 times with the incantation to make you become bound that is how some women lose their husband that is how some men lose their wife that is how some men lose their business that is how some people lose their status and before you know what is happening even God is saying that my people are being attacked under this situation unfortunately not everybody in the church knows about this but today I pray for you <clears throat> I pray for you may you never be ignorant of the devices of the powers of hell may the deliverance of God begin to locate you in the name of Jesus Christ so don't forget this second prayer point any filthy garment in form of handkerchief in form of veil where your name your property your assignment your career your business have been written diabolically with the blood of a cat the snake or anything and it has been tied up so that your life will be under captivity look at what the Bible says it says well to them and that is what you are going to pray for 21 times on this day 22 the Lord is commanding us speak war to any man who will boy your get institution that want to use the instrumentality of diabolic attack with filthy garment of handkerchief and veil to frustrate and to take away your soul child of God quickly let's read 19 and 20 and we'll take the last prayer point because of time please let's take 19 and 20 and we take the prayer and close 19 verse 19 now says 19 now says and will you pollute me among my people for hand, handful of belly and for pieces of bread to slay they use those things to slay the soul that should not die that should not die I don't know how to say this but I dedicate this message to my 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 fallen brother my lost brother they should not die but men out of diabolical
Public wickedness cause their soul to fly. Your soul will not fly. The soul of your children, your husband will not fly. May God deliver you from the wickedness of the wicked via filthy garment of veil handkerchief manipulation in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to support this program as we continue. Keep on praying. Keep on fasting. God will complete everything he has started in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. My number again is 832-7620937. Call me and I'll be willing and ready to pray for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. You are now watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ.